Hello, good morning. Good morning. It's a Wednesday in the daily Bible class neighborhood. I don't have a cardigan on like Mr. Rogers, but it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. How is your neighborhood? Well, we're going to now study getting a little bit into the real meaty part of Romans. Oh, there's so much meat here. We've been going through the introduction of end of verse 7, grace and peace to you from God, our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you. He had not been to that church, Paul. Had never hadn't founded it, never been there. But here he was thanking God. Why would he thank God for something he didn't know? Because they were Christians. He lived so close to Christ. He was so full of gospel interest that he thanked God for a church he knew nothing about. I don't think one in a hundred of us does that. We're interested in me, my, my local church, my denomination, where I grew up in, in the Brooklyn or Jamaica or wherever. But he just knows of them and he's thanking God for them. Because your faith is being reported all over the world. What is being reported? Listen. The pastor is doing a series on Elijah, and he's using props. He actually got a, a cleft of a rock that he went into. He, he's, they've got uh, special effects. They got a new PowerPoint system. You got to see the facilities. You know, the chairs, they swivel back. The carpet is really nice. Not that, you know, red, no, no. They got so much money in the bank, you don't, you can't believe. No. The testimony of your faith, that's what people talked about, Christians, 2,000 years ago. They rejoiced when they heard about people's faith, strong faith, faith in Christ, faith in the midst of persecution, possibly, faith to endure hardships, faith when things are not going well, faith in Christ, even when people are hating you for your profession of faith. The testimony of your faith has gone out and blessed people around the world. Oh, God, help us to think like that and deepen our faith. Lord, increase our faith. Let our churches be known of as houses of not just prayer, but, wow, the people really trust in God there. They're not shallow. So he goes on, God whom I serve in my spirit in preaching the gospel of his son. So he said that he served God spiritually by preaching. It was a form of worship. Even when he was preaching and, and he had, he's been doing his apostolic trips and starting churches, he said, I'm serving God in my spirit as I do that, as I spread the gospel and I do my preaching of this good news. God is my witness, how constantly I remember you in my prayers at all times. Never been there, praying for them, mentioning them all the time when he prays. Oh my goodness, what a kingdom spirit. Like what a kingdom spirit. He's thanking God for a church, remembering them every time he prays, and he's never been there. Not sure he'll ever get there. And I pray that now at last by God's will, the way may be open for me to come to you. Notice, he wants to get there, but it has to be God's will. God has to uh, be directing him, and he prays that he can get there. But I want to go over this here. How constantly I remember you in my prayers at all times. And I pray that now at last by God's will, the way may be open for me to come to you to you. What a world, what a busy life, what an enlarged mind and heart Paul had. He's in Corinth 
concerned about that church. He's made other trips. He's writing letters, sending people out to visit the churches where he's that where he started the work. And yet, every time I pray, oh Lord, thank you for those believers in Rome. Oh, I thank you. What denomination are they? Are they like us? Hush, I'm praying. Lord, thank you. What a big world. What a big heart. And what an exciting daily existence. So when I was not even six months in the ministry at the Brooklyn Tabernacle, I met a preacher. He came to preach in the first year for sure. And no one would come and preach at the Brooklyn Tabernacle then. It was not exactly a glamour spot. Handful of people, run down building, bad block. He came and preached, and we went out to have lunch one day, spending time. I was trying to learn, glean. And he said, Jim, can I tell you something? In your life, you're going to meet three kinds of people. Three kinds of people. I went, really? Yeah. You're going to meet people who are local church-minded. That's their whole world, their local church. The Brooklyn Tabernacle. Oh, what we're doing, our picnic is in July. And Pastor Simbola said, Pastor Simbola and the choir and and uh, the prayer band and, and, and all that stuff. And we have missionaries and, and it's all, that's the whole world. The whole world is the Brooklyn Tabernacle or First Baptist Church of Tuscaloosa, Alabama or whatever. That's their world. He said, you're going to meet a second kind of person. They have a group spirit. Their whole world is their denomination. National Baptist churches. Assemblies of God. Southern Baptist Convention. And on and on and on and on. That's their world. Nothing is happening in the world except what's happening in their circles. Don't you know? God is only... Raise them up to represent him. And then he said, if you're blessed, you might meet some people who are kingdom-minded. Wherever the cause of Jesus Christ is prospering, wherever churches are being blessed, they rejoice. They're happy. They want to encourage anyone who's doing the work of the Lord. They don't want credentials and are you one of us? Are you one of them? You know, Remember those disciples who stopped uh, some people They came to Jesus? We saw some men casting out demons, but they wouldn't follow us, so we told them to stop. In other words, let the demons be in the people. Don't set them free. If you're not going to be with us, you know, like us, we, we're very important. You know what? That guy was spot on, that that, pa that minister is spot on. You meet very few people who are kingdom minded. They're racially minded, politically minded, denominationally minded, evangelical. No, the evangelicals are dead. The charismatic, no, the charismatics are crazy. No, just whatever. No, it's so hard. I want, I want to be a kingdom minded person. How about you? I want to be like Paul. I thank God. I, I've never been there, but I heard about you. Oh, praise God. May the Lord do that in us. In Jesus' name, amen.